Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rose Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the AFC Championship game is between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs. Who do I think is going to win this playoff game? Let's break it down. Now, the Cincinnati Bengals are 14-4 and this season, and Zach Taylor, as head coach of the Bengals, he had a tough go of it in his first couple years as the Bengals head coach, but they've really turned it around with Joe Burrow, and their last couple years have been fantastic last year making the Super Bowl and this year so far on the path to maybe get there again. And some key games for the Bengals this year, they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers 23-20 to in the first game of the season and Joe Burrow threw four interceptions and that was a really tough loss in overtime and then they got a really important one over the New York Jets 27-12 to and that was their first win of the season and then they got a huge win over the Kansas City Chiefs 27-24 to that was later on in the year and that was a really big win for Joe Burrow and that really helped the Bengals move up the seed list for the playoffs and then in the playoffs the last two key games have been wins over the Baltimore Ravens 24-17 to and that was a really important game for the Bengals because even though their offense really struggled in this game their, their defense helped them find a way to win and, and then in the division round this past week they won at the Buffalo Bills 27-10 to in a game that their defense played well again and Joe Burrow had a much better game on offense and quarterback Joe Burrow is going to have to have a really good game against the Kansas City Chiefs to help him win this one but he's been fantastic all year for the Bengals and so far this postseason he's 46-68 for 451 yards, three touchdowns, and 40 rushing yards and a touchdown. The key for Joe Burrow, he hasn't had any turnovers, and he's been really solid all year, especially as the season's gone along. He's kept the turnovers at a minimum. He had more interceptions at the beginning of the season. But now when it matters most, he is not making mistakes, and that is really going to be key for the Bengals as they move forward in this postseason. And running back Joe Mixon is 31 attempts for 144 yards and a touchdown, 35 receiving yards. Joe Mixon's a really solid running back. He's actually one of the better running backs in the NFL, and he's definitely helped the Bengals on offense this year and kept a lot of the pressure off of Joe Burrow. And wide receiver Jamar Chase is 14 receptions for 145 yards and two touchdowns. And Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow have such a connection all the way back from LSU, and he is definitely Joe Burrow's favorite target on offense. And he's one of the best young receivers in the NFL. And tight end Hayden Hurst is nine receptions for 104 yards and a touchdown so far this postseason. He's a really solid tight end as well. Now on the defense side of the ball, linebacker Logan Wilson has 17 total tackles, 10 solo tackles, and a forced fumble. And safety Jesse Bates the third is 14 tackles and 13 solo tackles. And the Cincinnati Bengals defense has actually improved as the season's gone along. That has been an issue for them in the past, but they've stepped up on that side of the ball and helped them win these two postseason games. And the Bengals offense, their offensive line has been an issue as well in the past but they've improved a little bit for Joe Burrow. They still have a little ways to go, but overall the Cincinnati Bengals offense is much better than it used to be now that Joe Burrow's at the helm. And on the Kansas City Chiefs side, they are 15-3 and this season, and Andy Reid, he's one of the longer tenured head coaches in the NFL, and he's done a really good job keeping the Kansas City Chiefs as one of the top teams in the NFL, and now that he has Patrick Mahomes, and he has really helped the Kansas City Chiefs continue to be one of the best teams in the NFL year in and year out. And some key games for the Kansas City Chiefs this year, they were able to beat the Los Angeles Chargers 27-24. to That was a really big win because they were able to pull out that one against a really tough Chargers team. And then another really good win for the Chiefs is they were able to win at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 41-31 a week after losing to the Indianapolis Colts. That was a big win there. And then they lost to the Buffalo Bills 24-20. to That was a really tough loss for the Kansas City Chiefs. But then they were able to bounce back and win at the San Francisco 49ers 44-23 to show there was no doubt that the Kansas City Chiefs were still a really solid team. And then the Kansas City Chiefs went on a roll the rest of the regular season. And then they were able to beat the Jacksonville Jaguars 27-20 in the divisional round. And even though Patrick Mahomes did get banged up in that game, they were still able to find a way to win. And quarterback Patrick Mahomes, he was 22-30 for 195 yards and two touchdowns and eight rushing yards against the Jacksonville Jaguars and he's had a fantastic season for Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs this year. He has kept the turnovers relatively low and he's been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL this year but unfortunately he did get hurt in the Jacksonville Jaguars game and his health is going to be a key priority for the Chiefs in this game because if Mahomes is not close to 100% it's going to be really tough for them to win. And running by Isaiah Pacheco is 12 attempts for 95 yards and 6 receiving yards against the Jaguars and Isaiah Pacheco is a really solid running back. He was a 7th round pick out of Rutgers and he is definitely over exceeded expectations for what people thought he was going to do this year and tight end Travis Kelsey is 14 receptions for 98 yards and two touchdowns Travis Kelsey is one of the best receiving tight ends in NFL history he has been fantastic for the Chiefs year in and year out and he has definitely helped out Patrick Mahomes all these years and wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster is two receptions for 29 yards he's been a really solid receiver for the Chiefs this year and the Chiefs actually have a plethora of receivers that they use and on the defense side of the ball linebacker Nick Bolt is 10 total tackles six solo tackles and a fumble recovery and cornerback LeJarrius 
need is nine total tackles and six solo tackles. And the Kansas City Chiefs, their defense is one of the better defenses in the NFL. They have had some moments where they've given up more points and yards than they needed to, but for the most part, their defense hasn't been an issue. And on the offensive side of the ball, Patrick Mahomes has been great for the Chiefs all year. But again, if he's not healthy, it's going to make it really tough on the Kansas City Chiefs offense. So who do I think is going to win the AFC Championship game? Now, the Bengals and Chiefs played last year in the NFL playoffs, and the Bengals were able to get a big win at the Kansas City Chiefs, 23-20 to in overtime, and Patrick Mahomes was 100% healthy in that game. Now, again, the health of Patrick Mahomes will be key because if he is not close to 100%, that is really going to limit the Kansas City Chiefs' offense, and it's going to be able to really help the Cincinnati Bengals not be able to put up as many points and still find a way to win because the Kansas City Chiefs' defense, they have a lot of experience against Joe Burrow, and I think they're really going to be able to to try to find ways to slow him down because they know that they can't not have Joe Burrow beat them single-handedly. But again, if the Bengals were able to get a win at the Chiefs in the playoffs last year with a fully healthy Patrick Mahomes, you would think on paper that they would be able to win at the Kansas City Chiefs this year with a less than 100% Patrick Mahomes. But games are not played on paper, and that's not always how the results happen. So the Kansas City Chiefs could win this game if Patrick Mahomes isn't 100%. And I think Patrick Mahomes is going to give it his all. And Andy Reid, he has a lot more experience as a head coach than Zach Taylor. Zach Taylor has gained a lot of experience the last couple of years. He does have great chemistry with his team and Joe Burrow is gaining a lot of confidence in the NFL and he's been playing really well all season and that Super Bowl run last year gives Joe Burrow the belief that he can get there again and Patrick Mahomes he's already won a Super Bowl so both of these young quarterbacks are really talented and both of these quarterbacks already have the experience in the playoffs. The Cincinnati Bengals defense has really stepped up this season and I think they're going to be able to limit the Chiefs offense especially if Patrick Mahomes isn't 100%. I think both teams have a lot of talent on both sides of the ball but with a healthy Joe Burrow over a less than 100% Patrick Mahomes I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals to beat the Kansas City Chiefs 35 to 31 in the AFC championship game. I think if Patrick Mahomes is close to 100% that they can win this game and the home field advantage at Arrowhead is really going to help out the Kansas City Chiefs and I think the Chiefs are going to want to get revenge over the Cincinnati Bengals and Andy Reid's really going to have his team prepared to win this game and Patrick Mahomes like I said he's going to give it 110% even if he's only at 75% he's not going to lay down and let the Cincinnati Bengals win this game and I think that the Chiefs defense will really step up and try to help the Chiefs win this game but I think that Joe Burrow he has a lot of confidence and he made it to the Super Bowl last year and along the way they were able to win at the Kansas City Chiefs and I think that he believes he can do it again and I think the Cincinnati Bengals defense is going to be able to slow down Patrick Mahomes who might be less than 100%. I think this is going to be a really close game that goes down to the wire but I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals to beat the Kansas City Chiefs 35-31 to in the AFC Championship game. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think the Kansas City Chiefs or the Cincinnati Bengals are going to win this game and why and I will see you next time.